So Guillermo Jones knocks out Dennis Lebedev in the 11th round and he's now the new WBA World Cruiserweight Champion. This was a great fight. For anyone who ain't seen it, go watch this fight. Go look it up on Google, um, find the video or join my Facebook a boxing group, Hatman Boxing, and uh, someone posted a link in there, I believe. Definitely go watch this fight. Action packed from start to finish, full of massive punches landing from both fighters pretty much all the way through. Non-stop action. Great fight. Great, great fight. As far as the performances go, um, Lebedev really didn't do that much wrong. The only thing is, is that, you know, Lebedev is a big puncher, but he's not used to someone like him, uh, you know, someone walking through his punches like Guillermo Jones was able to do. And Guillermo Jones, even though he fought as low as welterweight, I believe, or light middleweight earlier in his career, he's six feet four. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So like like Tommy Hearns, because Tommy Hearns was six one, and he went all the way up to cruiserweight, you know, and he knocked out light heavyweights like Dennis Andrews. So you could say, oh, you know, Dennis Andrews got knocked out by a blown up welterweight, but not really, because he this guy's a welterweight with a massive frame, with a big, broad shoulders, long arms, do you get what I'm saying? He's not just tall and narrow like a Diego Corrales. No, this guy's a big, broad fighter like a Paul Williams. Do you get what I'm saying? Tommy Hearns. And it's the same case with Guillermo Jones. Guillermo Jones is a big, broad, built guy. He's not, he's, he don't have narrow shoulders and a slender type of build. He's got big coat hanger shoulders. You know, he's, he's six feet four. How the hell this guy was ever fighting a welterweight or, you know, light middleweight? I will never know. But um, yeah, he's a extremely big guy. Uh, he looked fat at cruiserweight, no question about it. He looked fat. He was carrying a lot of weight. He's 41 years old. So, you know, not many 41-year-olds are in the same type of shape as they was when he was 31 or 21. But um, nonetheless, he looked a lot bigger than Dennis Lebedev in there. Just the broadness of his shoulders and just overall size. He looked bigger than Lebedev in there. He actually looked like, looked like a heavyweight in there compared to Lebedev. Uh, Lebedev was obviously a lot shorter, around 5'10", five, 5'11", five, I believe. Um, you know, powerfully built guy himself. But Lebedev really didn't do much wrong. He just couldn't keep Jones off. Jones just kept walking forward, walking forward, walking forward. And his chin was incredible. Right? Guillermo Jones's chin, hey, <laughs> how he was able to absorb constant, tremendous bombs from Lebedev round after round without even the slightest hint that he could be hurt at any stage. I've got no idea how he, was able, how he was able to do that shit. But um, Lebedev was caught in a nightmare in there. It was literally like a nightmare. You know, one of them nightmares where you're, you're, you're hitting a guy, hitting a guy, hitting a guy, and nothing affects him. You know what I'm saying? It was like being in a horror movie. And uh, eventually, that Frankenstein who was chasing Lebedev all night uh, finally caught up with him in, in the 11th. And uh, Lebedev's face, I mean, wow, he looked like he'd been fucked up by about five guys you know he didn't look like he was in there fighting one guy he looked like he he'd been attacked by five guys with baseball bats the state of his face Lebedev's eye I think it was his was it his right eye I think his right eye was swollen not even just his eye the whole side of his face was swollen both eyes were swollen but hey the, the, the swelling on Lebedev's face was fucked up <laughs> anyone who ain't seen it go watch it and you'll see what i'm saying it's one of the worst swellings you'll see in boxing it's right up there with hasim rackman swelling and a few other you know different fighters out uh you know fights in the past where these uh you know these guys have ended up getting terrible facial swelling so yeah lebedev ended up looking like the elephant man guillermo jones you know it was a great throwback performance guillermo jones has always been a good fighter all right he's always been a good fighter um He's always had skills and all those kind of things. He's always been a, a pretty good puncher. But he's been very inactive the past few years. Extremely inactive. And at the age that he is now, not many people expected him to do that to Dennis Lebedev. I mean, many people, you know, possibly thought he'd be competitive, but not many people thought he'd be able to walk him down, walk through all his punches and just destroy him the way that he did in the end. Uh, but that's exactly what happened. Now, I have to mention this because it is out there in the news media right now. Apparently, Guillermo Jones, and remember, Guillermo Jones is a Don King fighter. He's one of Don King's last fighters. But apparently, Guillermo Jones refused to take a post-fight drug test. All right, so make it out what you will. Is this some Chavez Jr. shit all over again? Who knows? But he refused to take a post-fight drug test. And hey, that's, that's up in the air. Make it out what you will. Yeah. But uh, Don King's a happy man. <laughs> you know, he's, he's got another world champion again now. And, um, you know, regardless of all the controversy, this was a great fight. 
put, there could possibly be a rematch down the line. Possibly be a rematch. Down the line. I don't know if there was any rematch clause or anything in the contract, but you know there could possibly be a rematch. I don't know if Lebedev's going to want it right away because he's going to need a lot of time to recover from that type of beating because he took a hell of a lot of punishment. His eye, I mean, God, God knows what you know long term or serious damage could possibly have been done to the eye. Hopefully none, but the eye don't look pretty at all. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So um. Yeah, this was a great fight. So, like I say, anyone who anyone who ain't seen it, go out there and watch it. And uh, if a rematch don't happen right away, hey, Jones against uh, Marco Hook, you know that's that's a fight right right there. You know what I mean? Um, it could possibly happen. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, leave your comments in the comment section below. Who do you think uh, both these fighters should fight next? Where do you think they should go from here? Um, Yes, a great fight for anyone who hasn't seen it. Make sure you go watch it. Uh, let me know how you feel below. This is Hatman. I'm out.